Quién sabe qué hubieran hecho. Yes, you owe me one. My apologies, Mister.
¡Eh, señor! You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antelas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mueve El mundo es muy difícil. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. I'm sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary, a man who puts the needs of others before his own, a man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chubarosa, how he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family, but I still can't forgive you for helping again, for what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Alinde betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. It don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston. The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence. And all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso. New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Why do you doubt 
about our revolution so much, Mr. Marston. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spilled enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Freedom. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. And what about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but... I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. We tried to hide the bad from him growing up, but he saw things he shouldn't. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We're going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vamos, the laws where to place it. Right here. And here. That may cause a chain reaction, you know. Here's good. Set the last one here. Don't mean Luis had the detonator, we will handle the rest. I'm glad you are here to help us. They are coming. Get ready, John. I and they will fall eventually. I have faith that could move mountains. Look, they are coming.
other two. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. If it ain't me, it's someone else.
Apúrese. Armas. John. John. Thank God you have come. That wretched animal, the Santa, has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come. We must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry. I don't know how much time we have. Maybe the Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live a slave. Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking orders. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying the convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too? I get they scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. We will speak when we get there. We must save our energy. El sepulcro is just up ahead. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick. Aurelio,
fucking freak. Go back to your country. Where is Javier Escuela? <laughs> Of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please! I'll do anything! Go on! Finish him! He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Viva la revolución! What are you doing? Come on! You can't give up now! My apologies, mister. Get back on your horse! We don't have time for this! Thank you, compadre. It should really have been you. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead, the Santa is dead, the army is our leader. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Come on. Come on. Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once. Long time ago. Not anymore. All friends make the worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in the province. That sounds about right. Go, no, keep moving. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? No. But maybe the girls are all occupied. Ahora mismo! Javier Escuela. <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place, sauce. <coughs> <laughs> What have you got for me? Ayúdame! Ay! What the? Oh! oh I ain't got any good news for you, friend. Thank you, señor. I should know by now. I never to tell a man he has an verga pequeña. Maybe it's time to think about a different line of business.
<risa> hey, Miguel, give it a rest. Enough. <risa> Stop hitting the girl. <risa> There, are you happy now? You're low, brother. Huh? You like her? You can have her. Yeah, she's pretty clean and pretty dirty also, huh? She's yours for 200 American dollars. Mario, you are evil. No, Eva, I'm just a cow herd who can no longer afford the cattle. <laughs> you want a cow? Cowboy? Huh? Holy mother, save me from this man. Come on, 200 dollars, man. Do you even have two hundred dollars? Take the damn money, you bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. Te ve la próxima vez que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, her, I, a gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes, let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. 
<laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que yo la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. Let's ride, my brothers. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Agenda's men at the sepulchro. Finally, the Santa is dead. Then well, why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master, but that's all he was. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother out of hand all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious surges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. The Dutch started falling apart. It hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fun. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that Cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. Back there. Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're marrying. Have you ever known Power Jones? 
I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing to the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings! I wish I'd never asked. It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum! Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas! From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life! But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricas. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Let's not talk for a while, my friend. We should take some time to think about what it means to be heroes. Just up ahead. Preparate, mi hermano. This is our time.
Flying men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Go on, jump. You can do this. Time. 
Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you a bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die Whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care Whoa, about you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You were always weak, John! Agenda. You enjoying yourself down there? It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Let's go! Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought she was a creep. Come on! We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Let's go! You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put him in the cell for now, John. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Ah, oh, ah, oh, you puto. Ah, oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. 
The army sent reinforcements. Go. Yeah. Go with your puto. <laughs> the army is coming. Be up for a man that cannon. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs>